What it do, beautiful babes? Your girl, sweet angel, over here on Sugar Fingers. And yes, you saw it right. Today, we're going to be doing some mwah, lip swatches for sure. If this is your first time hanging out with me here on Sugar Fingers, join my beautiful babe brigade over here. Subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and that way you'll be in the know each and every time I upload. Now hold on. Before you go away, we got some goodies that you don't want to miss. Today I'll be swatching the Sephora Collection Lip Last Matte Lipsticks. And yes, I've had mine for a little while. They've repackaged them, but they are still the great, wonderful lipsticks I have now. But I do have three of the latest shades with me. So listen, sit back, relax, and let me share with you these wonderful, amazing lipsticks. These are my favorite lipsticks, y'all. When it's showtime, these are the lipsticks I have on my lips. Not in particular this shade, but I love it. It's a brown chocolate kind of shade that is great for the fall winter season and that's what I'm loving right now. But let me show you these lipsticks and tell you all about these beautiful Sephora Collection Lip Last lipsticks. I'm covering my lips because, oh, I'm scared. I have 14 of these Color Lip Last lipsticks to swatch, y'all. And listen, did you see, do you see what's on the screen right now. My very first video on the Sephora Collection Color Lip Last lipsticks was done six years ago. That's how long I've been loving these lipsticks. Okay, so I got my wipes out and I'm ready to start swatching. Now the other strange thing about these is that when they originally came out, there was no name on the package here. So it might have been on the little box that it came in. However, there was just a number. So I'm trying to mix and match which ones are which, but the best thing you can do to go to the website, pick out the ones that fit you. At that time, I was just collecting them all, which I really didn't care what the shade was. I just love the formula. I just thought maybe they would be good wearing even under other lipsticks or, you know, mixing lipsticks. So that's why, you know, I'm doing what I do and have different colors that really like this first one doesn't even really show up on my lips at all. It's like just my lips with lip balm on it. But this formula is amazing. Y'all, I guess it's just my lucky day. I scrounged in my old email and my old Sephora shopping orders and found the colors to these lipsticks. This one is the Color Lip Last Lipstick O2 in Cinnamon Crush. And now I'm just going to check to see if they do have this in the present collection. And I'll let you know that. Well, checking the site, I don't specifically see this particular color. However, there are similar ones out there close to this one if you're looking for this really, really nude color. The next one I have is exactly the same. Am I crazy or am I crazy? But the bottom number is different than the other one. So this is still Cinnamon Crush and it is... I don't know what's going on. Why did I end up getting two of these? I don't know. However, I'm looking on the site and there's like a crepe warm beige that resembles this one so much and that's possibly it. So anyway, excuse me for being old and crazy. There is also um, just different colors like a warm peach, like a melon, which may be quite similar to this one, but we shall see. I don't know if in comparison up close and personal, I wouldn't know the difference, okay? I wouldn't know. So next up we have the color of brown is back. This is number 04. And looking of course on the site, it is not there. And there are similar browns. There's like a chocolate brown. There is also a cool brown. However, this color is not 
there, but something similar. But anyway, they're still good to go. As you see, they glide on beautifully creamy and matte, and I am loving this amazing formula. Y'all, there's nothing that compares. I have definitely tried many matte lipsticks but they're so drying these are not like this they're lightweight they are a comfortable matte as the description talks about on the website they deliver rich opaque color definitely they're long lasting transfer resistant and they do not bleed or crack I don't know what they're made of, but this is incredible. And of course, only at Sephora. This is the Sephora collection. How they do it, I don't know. I really just don't know, but they make it amazing. Yes. I am so proud of myself for being an organized warder. Y'all, I have the next one. It's the Color Lip Last 09 Life in Pink. And I mean, Y'all need to check out this swatch because this is definitely a pink, like a Barbie pink kind of thing going on. I wear it, however, I use a lip liner with this one, of course, because perhaps it's just kind of clashing with the colors I have on right now. It's not going with this fall vibe that I'm rocking, but this right here, whoa, girl, whoa, girl, no, you better stop. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop but you know it's workable if you know how to uh, just line your lips the right way okay I'll leave it alone really I will <laughs> and just a footnote there is not one similar to this color there is a pink on the site but not like this one okay next up we have 06 blooming rose yes blooming rose I remember this one and the reason being is that this was one of my favorite ones. There's hardly nothing left in here, y'all. But I think one of the new ones that I purchased is pretty similar to this one. But child, what is the problem? Blooming Rose was it. I loved this one so, so much. This was my go-to color all the time. It's beautiful. As you can see, it just it goes with my skin tone really well very very workable you know whether it's a daytime or a nighttime this particular shade on me I love it very much oh I remember the name of this one so vividly number 15 is Coral Calling I think another brand might have used the same name for some reason but anywho I think this is one of my favorite ones as well in fact it goes well with you know the color scheme I got going on today in this video so I love it honey oh these lipsticks there's nothing like them I promise you if you're a person who likes to wear lipstick lipstick and you want it to stay on these are the ones y'all I guarantee you And the next one is number 12, Royal Raspberry. Now this will probably clash with what I have on today, but it's a beautiful color. It is indeed. I don't even know why I'm trying to show the names of the bottom of these because that was not working out too well, if you, if you see what I'm saying, okay? But anywho, love it, love it. And the great part, you know, you can really tell if it's a nice moisturizing lipstick based upon the fact that they're not pulling and tucking on my lips at the end of these lip swatches and these are matte lipsticks my lips were not dry they were they were a-okay not a problem at all i love this color though but it's more for me i would wear this probably spring summer but it's pretty oh yeah one that is befitting for the season Coco Passion number 24. Honey, I can't wait. I'm, I'm waiting to swatch this right now. I'm ready for it. 
because I know this this works with what I got on today don't it yeah and usually I don't wear like deep brown colors on my lips but this one because of the fact it looks like I don't know it's got a hint of something else in it that it it works for me okay it works for me I can do this I can do this without hesitation so I am going to mm, probably wear this one for the rest of the day who knows because I love it this is one of my favorites also one of my browns that I use to outline my lips with other lipsticks love this one oh beautiful babes this is my jam right here you know it is number 19 is pure red pure red this is it right here Ooh, love it love it love it i am so thrilled to have it definitely and y'all it's my season for red lips so i need to pull this one out and wear it frequently if you know what i mean this one is so so nice absolutely it is wow goes on so beautifully mm. oh yeah love it i love it check me out y'all check me out oh yeah girl you better stop <laughs> And now we're switching gears into the Craig and Carl collection of that Sephora Color Lip Last Lipsticks. L Train Jane is what the name of this one is. Now these do have the name on the label, so that was easy to find out, okay? But this is a beautiful orange, which again, this one for me, I could probably wear it all year round i would definitely deepen it with my maybe a lip liner kind of like that brown cocoa passion that you just saw that i had on just to kind of give some definition around my mouth but this one i could definitely rock it and wear it today with my um outfit i have on or whatever or wherever but it is beautiful definitely but for the season i would definitely kind of darken around the edges a little bit now this one is the other craig and carl color lip last in west end swirl now this one too is kind of a reddish tone i love it and it is again the last two when i did the video on these the last two craig and carl's this was it but i wanted the collection because i was collecting these color lip last i wanted them because i had fallen in love with these and that's why they're still here that's why they're still around that's why anybody touch that drawer who's coming to pick up some makeup you do not touch that drawer that's mine you know i should put it under lock and key because these are heavenly this actually goes with what i have on as well so i could definitely wear this with what i have on don't you think so i love it girl i'm loving these y'all just don't know if you are on the website the sephora website check these out now these three are the new ones that i have this is the new packaging and it's very pretty as you can see but it is where you can see through on the top and this one is the rosé this one is really really pretty which i feel kind of resembles the one that i love the most and i no longer have that color anymore this one is a beautiful beautiful shade that i feel that can go with just about anything it's a medium pink it's beautiful i love it yes i do so i am rocking this one rosé yes very neutral pink you know i think any skin tone can wear this one which um is a great thing i think mm. i kind of i kind of like it just as much as i did the other one but uh it's a little bit of a difference 
and next to the last i'm knocking these down without even breaking a sweat y'all this is the lip last matte lipstick in rosewood it's like a rose brown and i noticed they did kind of switch up the name a little bit they did actually put the word matte in the description of them or the name of them so that there wouldn't be any confusion i suppose this one is equally as pretty just a little bit more muted than the other one but you know i love it and again i can trim this one with a darker brown to really bring out my lips even more so there you go on that one now this one may be last but in no means least this is the lip last matte lipstick and spice this is a chocolate brown very deep brown which is kind of out of my normal comfort zone but she gonna wear it she gonna rock it and she gonna make it do what it do okay that's how we gonna look at that i indeed love this color and of course if my eyes were a little bit bolder or maybe put some lashes on it would definitely tell the story yes indeed yes i love it <laughs> and how you like me now all right beautiful babes beautiful lipsticks to swatch on these lips and i want y'all to be in the know again subscribe hit the post notification bell to be in the know each and every time i upload and beautiful babes over here on sugar fingers you know what you gotta do keep the hair the face the hands and the feet looking gorgeous. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah. Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby.